In this video, we're going to talk about three tips that will be helpful for your hang power clean. The first one we'll discuss is a higher hang position. We see many of you guys often come down to a very low hang, like you would in an RDL. Starting your pull this low will create a very hip dominant movement that will push the bar away from you later in the clean. Instead, you should try using a higher hang position in which your knees bend a little more and the bar stops at mid-thigh. In these first two examples, the lifters lower the bar all the way to the knee with just a hip hinge, which causes the bar to move very far forward. The bar path ends up being an arc coming away from the body before ultimately coming back in and crashing on the lifter's shoulders. When using a higher hang with more knee bend, you are better set up to keep the bar close. Here we see a very straight bar path from Elizabeth as opposed to the arc from a second ago. M also sets himself up for success by stopping at mid-thigh, and while it isn't perfect, his bar path is also much straighter. Tip number two sounds simple, but is incredibly important to a good clean. Press down through the floor. Once set up in a good position, the execution can still be messed up by only pushing the hips forward and not utilizing the legs. This will also drive the bar in front of you. In a clean, your two major sources of power are the hips and legs. We often cue all of you to extend the hips fully, but the knees are equally important. It is the drive of the legs that creates the more vertical bar path that we're looking for. So when you do your cleans, it is important to remember to constantly drive the heels through the floor to help create the vertical momentum. The knees and hips extend simultaneously as the bar reaches the top of the thigh. Our last tip deals with the turnover of the clean. When the bar is finally received in the catch position, the elbow should be immediately up in a full front rack. The problem a lot of you run into is only turning the elbows partially over. In this example, Cindy catches the bar on her shoulders with her elbows pointing straight down. She then stands up and eventually brings the elbows to a front rack. Apart from the fact that doing this can be potentially injurious for the wrist, it also slows the lift down tremendously. The turnover of the clean should be the fastest portion of the entire movement, but that turnover isn't complete until you are in a front rack. The elbows need to immediately shoot up and around the bar. Having this mentality will also help promote speed throughout the entire movement as seen in these incredibly fast examples. Come back next time for more tips on exercise.